Okay, so what do I really know? I know that you can and I can create anything I want without work or effort. Just by my mind, my thoughts, and the aligned energy, energetic frequency and vibrational frequency that is aligned with that dream or want. So I looked back into my childhood and I asked myself, what was I dreaming about? And was there anything else in that dream that I should notice? And I remember when I was seven years old, I dreamed about abundance all around me, luxury, beauty, peace, calm. It's just, it's just beautiful all around, balanced. Everything that you ever dreamed is right there. But not in one of those images I had effort, work, or struggle in that picture or in that image. None. And it was just that knowing. So ask yourself, what do you want to create? Because as we move into fifth dimensional consciousness and the ones that will hear this they already in that they t they're ready to take the jump uh, and as our light body is sweeping into our third dimensional body you know actually the consciousness sweeps into this physical form we we will be creating instantly. Time and space is an illusion. And the moment, so that's why you need to know now. What do you really want to create? And I'll tell you an example. Back in 2008, 2009, I was, you know, creating... I wanted to go back to the States, the United States. I thought, you know, I am going to back to the United States. I'm going to be working for a very wealthy family. And that's how I'm going to get back to it. I lived in the States before and I was traveling and in and out and lived in the Bahamas and here and there. And, but I wanted to get back. But my level of consciousness was, although experienced and new, because in 1993 uh, and four. We had created $100,000 out of thin air. I knew it works. But still, I had that belief, because I was coming back to my core uh, home and to my tribe in Hungary. And that was, you know, that's where I'm from. And in this tribe thinking, all around me, I still believe that I have to work or do something. And so deep down, this was it. Although I was adapting quite well to the thing, and when I have adapted something and I believed that it's possible to create out of thin air, I was living it. But then fear and doubts and all that stuff, uh, you know, came in. And then all of a sudden, I was back into this mode in this thinking it, it's you know mass consciousness the Hungarians you know even in America a lot of people work hard hard it's always this achievement thing and I was always like oh you know all my friends had stores and and they were working hard and they achieved a lot and when I was 42 years old I thought you know I should be there like they are I mean what did I achieve I actually achieved everything I was living Beautifully, greatly, abundance surrounded me. But slowly but surely, I made the other person the source of it. And I did not believe any longer that I was the source of it. Because why I could live in there? Because previously, 15 or 20 years back, I thought that's how I'm going to live. And people will take care of me. And that is exactly how I was living. 
But when, when you know, your mind and your doubts and you're looking outside of you and you're looking to your external world, slowly but surely I was infected by the mind virus of theirs, you know? I mean, we all get to that stuff. And I knew that there is, you know, this is how I should live. This is what I deserve. This is, this is what I am entitled. This is our birthright to live in, 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 uh, in, um, in abundance and wealth and beauty. And uh, uh, all the thought patterns, the, the entangled belief systems of our family and, and, and the world or the country that you live in, the tribe, the city or whatever. You know, a lot of people, you know, just as much as we have an effect on the collective, the collective has an effect on us. It's, it's a mutual interweaving, uh, uh, you know, thing that takes effect on us. If we, if we allow it, if we, if we don't know, okay, this, this thinking is a higher vibrational thinking, which I had already when I was a little girl. But, you know, slowly but surely we get caught up in the, in the, in the insanity of the world, in the social conditioning and the belief of hard work and achievements and struggle and goals and, and all that stuff. And this always felt like effort to me. I don't like effort. I like easy I like grace. I like, I like play. I like to enjoy. I just want fun. That is what I want. I don't want struggle. I don't want hard work. I don't want to uh, create websites and work all the time on the computer. Although I was doing that, I did all that, but it always felt like struggle. And it was not aligned with, with my true natural beliefs and knowing that there is a world of ease and grace. So it's the mixture. So maybe one day you think this way, then you start working and hard and you, you start again efforting. And then the next day, maybe you are resonating higher because you had some form of activations again. You were pulled back and lifted up all the way to fifth dimensional thinking. Your, your natural self was, you know, attached to you again, meaning in, in you realizing and you're just really vibrating on that level, then you say, you know what, I don't know, I don't have to do that. I really don't. I mean, this is what I know. And this is the deepest knowledge. But every time I get tangled up and, 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 and pulled back to 3D thinking, it's like this work. It's, oh, you have to create this, you have to create that, you have to, you have to whatever. So anytime when there is this, you have to, I mean, you just know you don't have to do anything. Absolutely no thing. And then like a few weeks ago, it was like, no thing, no thing, no thing. And it's good to be nothing. It's good to be nothing. It's good to be free of all that insanity and all that thinking. And, and then, you know, thing came, I don't need people. I don't need people. I really don't need them. I really don't need people to live in abundance because I am the source. And when you can align with your knowing, when you can align with your fifth dimensional thinking of knowing that you can have ease and grace and without needing anybody, to deliver that thing because you don't need them absolutely no one you need and you know all this stuff you know okay you have to be a coach you have to be this you have to be that and you have to achieve and you have to have traffic on your website and now you have to learn this and now you have to learn that and it's like what the fuck you know i mean i don't want to do this stuff it's not my nature it is not my nature and, but when you believe that it is okay, maybe that's what you should do because you see it all around. Everybody's doing that, and everybody's fighting and and struggling and working and and doing this and doing that. Then you think, what? I don't believe in that. So why would you want to do what you would not believe in? And well, basically. This is what it is. So one day you are pulled back and dragged back with your three-dimensional thinking. And then the next day when you're resonating higher, you just know that it all is great. All is beautiful. It's all, will, it's all is given to you. I am a billionaire. I, I am so rich, so expensive that, you know, 
really, when you are working with the midbrain, that's your magical brain. The midbrain is in the all knowing and it is in grace and ease. It is in, in play, it is in fun, it is in enjoyment, it is savoring and bathing in this, in this, in this now moment of I got it all, I have it all. I am the source of it all. And that's why, you know, there are, there are videos that I made and whatever, because at that time, you know, it was just fun to create them. And it was like, okay, it is just so amazingly beautiful to feel in this resonance, resonant vibration of frequency. It's just, that's what resonates with me. This is what I know. And I'm taping this because I will be listening to this every time there would be a doubtful thinking coming in or, or, or any pattern that would want to pull me back to three-dimensional thinking. Because it's, it's, we are multidimensional, so we're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, uh, forth until uh, you really can leave the three-dimensional thinking behind your back. You just let it go. And you just say, okay, this is what is my knowing. This is what I believe. This is what it is. This is the life that I want. And I know that it exists for me. And the only thing I have to do is let go of the stupid belief of achievement and goals and running and, and, and being in the rat race and, and, uh, and do this and do that in, in, and in, in really being obsessed or attached to it. And so every time there is a thought pattern that comes up, I said, you know, what, what, what did you, you know, what do you believe again? Well, is, do you really believe this thought that just came in? Is this thought have anything got to do with what you know? And then you just say, absolutely not. This is not my thinking. This is, I never believed in this. And just like my mod, mother was believing in hard work, I never believed in hard work, but she believed in hard work, so she worked hard in her whole life. And I never believed in hard work. I like easy, I like fun, I love play, I love everything. It's right there. And it's ready, it's, 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 it's here already because I am a, a, a billionaire. I can do whatever I want to do. I can have a spontaneous day. I get up in the morning and I do whatever I want to do. Uh, if I want to go for a walk, I go for a walk. If I want to sit and, and, and have a coffee or have an ice cream or I want to eat something or I want to drink something or if I want to play and talk to people, I go, I go around the street and I talk to them and it is the most wonderful thing I can do. I can do whatever I want. I have no boss. I have nothing to worry about. It's, it's you know, I am just living completely free of any obligation. And when some crap comes up and whatever people want something from me and I don't, I don't feel like, uh, you know, interacting with the stuff, I can, I can just say, no, I don't interact. I don't even talk to them or I don't even answer or I don't because it's not resonating with me. The moment I feel a needy energy, I leave it behind. I don't interact with that because it's the, in the neediness of that other person, you know, I'm just, I just know that I am transforming that needy energy and that needful thought. And, and you know, right away, my, uh, you know, higher self is sending me a message saying, everyone is capable of helping themselves. I don't need to help them. I don't need to uh, do whatever, you know, they want to, you know, just, just, you know, use you, use your time. I mean, there are just people, you know, that write to me and they say, I need your energy. Well, the moment I hear that, you know, it's like on the, in the world of neediness. I don't want to participate in the world of neediness. And especially when I see that those people, and 
it, you know, sometimes, you know, it, it seems like a match. And then I start talking to them. And the moment I start talking to them, I feel and I see that they are still on the level of victimhood. They're still on the level of, oh, my God, I, you are the only one that could help me. No, I'm not the only one. You are the only one that could help yourself. But if you don't make a commitment to yourself, don't expect me to make a commitment to you. And this is exactly the, 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 the most amazing thing when you will start leaving the needy world behind. When you start leaving all the victim, victimization program, the, 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 the sacrificing and the, all that. I don't need to sacrifice anybody, anything. And they don't need to sacrifice themselves to anybody or anything. But if, if we're not resonating, if you're still not on your commitment, because a lot of people, you know, I said stuff to them, okay, I send them the videos, they don't even watch it. They don't even, you know, really go into it. They, they just like to whine. They just like to whine and, and you feel sorry for themselves. And, you know, I told them, you know, if you're not ready to help yourself, don't expect the world to help you. You know, so this is like help yourself, you know, and God will help you. Basically, God is you, of course. It's, you know, you, there is not the external God that you're asking for help because it's you who you're praying to. It is you, your self-knowledge and, and self, you know, just realization that you are the creator of your own life. Of course, that requires the responsibility of knowing and recognizing that, that I am the one that crea it creates my own life. And ask yourself, what do you want to create? Do you want to create struggle and hard work? Do you want to create a world, uh, uh, I don't know, a life where you're, you're depending on people? Oh, that's a good one. I don't want to depend on anybody. I'm independent. I'm depending on my inner self. It's an independent meaning. Whatever I do is the is 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 the believe in yourself. When you believe fully in yourself, you are self-sufficient. You don't depend on other people's um, whatever you know thoughts or, or, or opinions or judgments or, or anything like that. You no longer need the world. They still need the world. They need me more than I need them. But basically, it's just a recognition that you don't need anyone. You absolutely don't need anyone. That's liberation. That is exactly what, when, when I asked, what do I need to know? It's not about that I'm asking anymore, you know, this and that and whatever. I just asked, what do I need to know? Please, higher self, me, please let me know. What do I need to know now? And then a word comes, Shakti. Shakti, you know, I did not know this world in this lifetime. I might have had, you know, times when I was uh, involved in religion or any some form of religion, but not this time, because I know that many distortions are in religion. Many, you know, false teachings are in religion. It, that's man-made. Religion is man-made. It has nothing got to do with with the natural self. And when... When I actually heard that, uh, you know, Shakti, I looked into it. So Shakti means it's a spiritual power, you know, which you embody, actually. You, you're bringing it down here. You're anchoring that. And usually uh, it embodies itself in women. So that's why, you know, sacred feminine is awakening, we are awakening. You will see more and more uh, teachers or, you know, I'm not going to say guru because you are your own guru, of course. But that requires the knowledge that you are. You have to have self-knowledge to know that you are your own guru. If you have no self-knowledge, you're still looking outside of yourself for any kind of guidance or, or anything. Although you would be the best way to guide yourself. However, if you did not recognize that yet... Maybe you just don't know how to do that. So that's why there are people that maybe, you know, like three, four, five steps or ten steps ahead of you can assist you and shed some light on certain things because they have a better knowledge. They have a better self-knowledge. So when you have a better self-knowledge, 
you you have a better knowledge of other people, meaning you know exactly what's the underlying current, the lurking fear or anger or judgment and all that stuff that is uh, in in there now, what a, they experience, why they experience certain things. It's like open book. The moment you know yourself, everyone becomes an open book. That's exactly what happens. So I, I'm going to leave the world of, you know, the needy ones. I don't, I know that there is another way. And I know, and uh, the only thing I needed is to be sure of my fifth dimensional uh, knowing and aligning with that instead of aligning with the, uh, with the so-called knowledge of other people. It's the borrowed knowledge, you know? I mean, yes, you hear and stuff, you're going into certain things, you listen to people, you always have some gift out of it. You basically recognize that something is resonating with you in that conversation or, 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 or workshop or whatever it is, because it is touching exactly the part that is still um, existing in you, a, a vibration that is still existing with you. But you know, more and more you're going to go back and forth between the three-dimensional thinking and the fifth-dimensional natural self. And the moment you're ready to really fully occupy your uh, fifth-dimensional self, actually you're bringing that consciousness down into your three-dimensional body, it's an amazing thing happens. Your inner power, you're going to own your inner power. And inner power does not say that I need anyone's power, or anyone's uh, uh, resonation, meaning to me being fulfilled and live a life of ease and grace and abundance. Because you only will live a graceful and easy and abundant and wealthy and, and, and beautiful uh, uh, things surrounding you if you recognize your own beauty, when you recognize that you are the source and nobody else you need. And, you know, it's so funny because there are just, I'm just sharing this. I don't whatever some people will be resonating with this and some people won't it doesn't matter but the ones that are on the on the on, on in the vicinity of this knowledge of themselves the recognition in themselves will be hearing this and um you know a lot of times we um star seeds and light workers we also had to leave uh, our own attachment to the thing that we are the savior of the world. No, you don't need to save anyone. You are just coming into alignment with yourself and you are saving yourself in that sense. You're growing, you're moving ahead. You are forerunners and, and, and it's just an amazing. And you know what? I usually... I did not put up a lot of videos or, 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 or audios that I made because I was attached to perfectionism. You know what? I don't care about perfectionism anymore because what's more important is what resonates when I speak these words. What? How do I feel while I'm telling you that? And I'm telling you I'm feeling wonderful. And this is the resonance and the, the electricity, the, the, the very fuel that will touch your heart. And if it doesn't, or whatever, you know, people that don't need to hear this yet because they're not ready to hear it, they will not even find this video. But if you did, and if you heard what I say, uh, you are here with me. You are. We are moving ahead. And that's all we need. Leaving behind, letting go of the third dimensional thinking, the patterns and all that. So I was looking at people, you know, oh, you know, they are so perfect. They have the perfect website. They have this and they have that. But for somehow, for some reason, I did not want to participate in that stuff. I did not because this is not what I came here for. Uh, everything comes to me without effort, without work, without do that. So I'm really saying what do you want to create now? Because maybe five months ago or six months ago, you had an idea and, and it was about, okay, you, you need to do. But, you know, when things don't happen, when you knock on a door, you work on, on it and you really work hard to walk through that door and then nothing happens. And then, you know, you know why? why? Because it's not your door. 
It's not the door that you want. It would not make you happy. It, you just think that it would make you happy, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't. So you just have to enjoy yourself and allow the universe, you, to take care of everything. And everything is taken care of when you can align with the idea of your fifth dimensional consciousness, bringing it down in third dimension. This is your job. This is your 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 uh, frequency is uh, just spinning and, and really just lightening up because it's your joy. It's in joy. In joy. You got it? So when you have in joy and you enjoy, man, it's like lifting thousands of them, you know? So the only reason why I'm, why I'm sharing this is because it is... It's here. If you had doubts, if you did not know, because it was like you were also going back and forth, because I was. So if you had that, it, it clarifies the feeling. This is the energy of recognizing and, and, and having the, the deepest knowledge that that's why nothing worked. That's why all that stuff and whatever and I was attached to didn't work. Of course not. It was not my stuff. It was not the life I ever wanted to create. I didn't want to create a lot of struggle and, 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 you know, and, and go here, a lot of obligation. And, and because in the obligations, you have the tendency to lose yourself. It's like relationship. I had relationship where I lost my stuff. I completely lost myself in the relationship because I wanted to uh, make someone else happy. When, when in fact, you are the one that can make you unhappy and, and happy as well. So we're creating our own hell and, and heaven. And I wanted to make somebody happy who was very much in, um, um, I would say, wounded. But I was wounded. I was wounded in my childhood. I was, I was wounded, in, you know, with old things. Uh, you know, because when you are in an earthly life, you will get wounded in a way. We all have pent up emotions and we all have, we're going through very uh, difficult times because according to, and, and the time that we held a relationship or, a, or, a, or the thinking about that relationship and the consciousness we occupied at that time uh, could not recognize what was not wrong. Let me put it this way. We could not see the deeper meaning behind those uh, experiences. So when we did not see the, the deeper meaning, we interpreted and, and had a perception about that whole thing that something was wrong. Nothing was wrong. We just needed to recognize. We needed to understand uh, what, is, what that experience is teaching us about ourselves and everything. And everything was falling into place. Everything was falling into place. You just, you just don't know that everything is falling into place. And then when you have this negative thinking pattern that something is wrong, then that's exactly what you're going to live. And all is perfect. I am perfect. I am perfect the way I am. But I wanted to change myself. I wanted to change myself into three-dimensional person, a, a, a person who thinks in three-dimensional ways. The doers and the achievers and the, and the, and the, and the, uh, and the traffickers and the, oh my God, and create this, create that. I was creating that, but it never seemed to work. It, you know, it was like, it was not really my path. My path was never that. My path is the fun the enjoy, the occupying my natural self. And if you're interested and if you want to, you know, you just want to really experience. And, and of course, I was using, I was activating myself. I was using symbols and sounds and all kinds of stuff. And I speak the language of light, so which helped me tremendously when, uh, when I had messages for other people. And then I, I taped it. So if you speak the language of light and you tape it and you listen back to it and then the blockage got dissolved, you know, because then immediately I had, let's say, some emotion coming up and I was crying and releasing certain things. So even while I was giving, uh, you know, sessions to other people, uh, that particular message was a message to me as well. 
And so while we're healing, in a sense, in that sense, we're healing ourselves. But it's like, you know, it's happening simultaneously. So, and what really made the big difference, and, and I'm working with, with uh, aesthetic essential oils now. So if you want to do that, I, I put the link below this video, whatever. So go and, you know, just enjoy the wholesale uh, price for the, for the oils. And, and I have some videos and whatever. And if, if you ask me, yeah, I give sessions or whatever, but it's mainly... It's mainly just if you if you uh, you say that that might be something you want to experience, and uh, but I really recommend the etheric essential oils, the hundred percent pure grades. I wanted something. I knew even like two years ago that I want to bring in the essential oils. I just didn't know where is a, a source that I could trust and I would be really excited about because I needed pure. I needed pure because essential oils are the ones that uh, were not. Um, uh, you know, they were not distorted. Duality could not distort the the energy and the vibration of it. So, and I, oh, my favorite, I have to tell you about my favorites. I'm using inner child because I knew I had to release. I'm using the gift that on a daily basis, you can vaporize it. You can do a lot of things with that. Uh, there's a great vaporizer if you want to have that or whatever. But you can just put it in a bottle. You can put it in water and then just, uh, you know, just a mist, mist your aura with that and, and, and everything. It's just, it's just amazing. So I use trauma life. I use... Um, uh, what I have, the gift, the trauma, the highest potential. I love abundance. So there are a lot of these oil blends and I use blends. I'm not using very much of uh, single ones. I'm using blends because blends has, for example, the gift has seven different sacred oil uh, in it. And, uh, and so basically the effectiveness and I like to compound and really, you know, just... Uh, every every ingredient in the in my system so to speak that i found for myself so if you want you can whatever you can have that or you you want to work with that it's absolutely it's your thing if you resonate with that if there is something still in you that says okay i know i feel it because basically you have the answer already what you need and since in my childhood, I had a lot of things in, in my family and even our tribe, you know, I'm Hungarian and, and the, the tribe itself, I lived in the States, but the, the, the thinking of the, the cultures, the two different cultures, uh, it's, up, it's completely upside down. It is, it's, it's not by accident that the American people live in, in so much uh, more uh, wealth and abundance. Of course, they both have this thing with hard work, but still, um, it's just the vibration, the frequency of it is completely different. Like, uh, there was a time when I used to be and work uh, for a very wealthy family in Las Vegas. And, of course, Las Vegas is also an abundance portal. And it's just all around, you just you could just feel the abundance, the, the vibration of abundance. Of course, there are some people that uh, live not so abundantly, even in Las Vegas, like as we know, all over the world. However, the focus and, and the vibration was so strong because I was living in an environment which was full of luxury and, you know, uh, luxury cars and, 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 uh, and abundance consciousness. And uh, I really just, uh, that feeling of... Uh, was um, you know basically it was more in my vibration however there was a time when I I still had some fear issues in me because of childhood and because you know um, let's say the Hungarian culture has so much more fear in it maybe because Europe was um, Europe had the war, you know, and during the war time, and even our parents or grandparents experienced lack so much, so many times more than, let's say, the American people. So it's, it's a completely different thinking. It's a completely different vibration in the morphogenetic field. And I do clear morphogenetic field, too, if, if you're interested in that. 
but also it's an amazing uh you know being in between worlds and cultures and see as an outsider was the greatest experience in my life because i could it was like a field study let me put it this way it was like a field study whole time you know seeing my you know where i was born into what i was born into and then seeing and seeing the other stuff that is a completely different level a completely different thinking a completely different approach and 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 the gratefulness and the and the, the gratitude that there are, is in the american people and um you know and also the whining stuff you know because hungarians are complainers i mean they just whine 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 of course now that everything you know the spiritual awakening is happening all over the world of course more and more people you see who are awakened to the in the realization of that you know each one of us creates uh, their own reality so um things are changing of course and and all that stuff but it is so beautiful that you don't have to worry about the world you don't have to uh, do anything for the world because what you're doing when you work with one you work with all so when you work with yourself and when you really do everything for you and and really indulging and loving and caring Uh, for you basically you care for the world and you know it's so funny because the american people when they when you you know you say goodbye or whatever something so somebody say oh take care i mean just hear that the word and the sentence they say yeah take care they don't tell you to take care of other people they say take care of you take care of yourself take care and it's you know it's a, it's always they say that but it's like uh, amazing and uh so basically they tell you to take care of yourself and they love themselves so this way it's easier for you to love other people when you really really accept and love and understand yourself on the deepest level and when you really dig down to your to yourself so what i do is and i don't work much with other stuff but what i do is uh soul integration now because soul integration if there is somebody that comes or whatever and they want soul integration while well, the soul integration is an amazing thing i'm working and worked on myself with that and uh you know even just uh keeping me on a level and and always allowing myself to go um there are certain uh sounds and 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 symbols and and of course the aromatherapy is like the the missing link when i found that i had this thought in my head it's the missing link and believe it or not when i got on a website where i really found the the brand that i i wanted and i i started experimenting with that and it really moved me it it really uh made my life move forward and my own uh so to speak healing and expansion uh took really place you know i mean uh, it was with a speed like i did not experience before and so that's why and on that website i was reading the word missing link and just before i had that words um or idioms in my in my in my head missing link so it was like i would say pay attention to the little bread crumbs you left behind because those are like in the in the story in the fairy tale you know uh and when when they go and they find the uh, the little bread crumbs that they left behind to to really find their way home and these are the things when when you meet the words when you when you have something you have something that comes in a sentence or or something that does not leave you uh for days and and then all of a sudden you maybe see a video maybe you see somebody else's uh, report or an article you read or or something and there is the word and in that moment you just feel that you found another piece of the little bread crumbs <laughs> that you left behind to find your way home to find your way back to your to your uh five and six dimensional uh thinking and consciousness and and really really bring an anchoring down in your third dimensional body and so it's just um uh, an amazing process and i uh i'm not saying i did not feel like uh leaving that behind i'm not saying i i never had those feelings that why i really wanted to give up but something inside me did not allow me to give up that 
that sense, you know, going home to me. This, this was the, the thing. And when you really go there and you say, oh my God, I'm home. I'm home. I'm, I'm really home. And the only thing I need to always get back to me. It doesn't matter if thought patterns can come in, you know, because you can pick up on certain thought patterns of other people or whatever. And basically, you just, you just need to remind yourself. So I'm making this video for me. And I'm making this, uh, this audio for me to have a reminder, have the energy of it, because this is what really carries uh, that energy. So I will be constantly reminded when I need it. So I'm making this for me, but in case it gives you the energy and the vibration that you need, and sometimes you want to listen to it because it, 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 it really helps you to get back to the higher truth, to your natural self, what you know, because I know that we all know that on the deepest level, that this is why we came here. But uh, there are so many little twists and turns on the way, which is, of course, great. And it's, you need it. You need it to recognize it yourself within you and not just listen to it that's coming from me because this is borrowed knowledge. However, the energy, the vibration, the frequency of it can give you an amazing, an amazing benefit, an amazing benefit. So thank you for listening. I know this happened to be longer than I initially thought, but you know, I'm just allowing myself to spontaneously do and, and really just say or, or be who I am and my highest vibrational level right now. And it's, uh, it's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. So I hope it assists you and uh, just enjoy the day. Enjoy everything and really just leave the doubts behind because you are wonderful and we are here. This is our thing. This is what we came here to do and, and really anchor down. That's it, being our natural self. And this is the most wonderful thing that can happen to anyone. So it is really paying off all the, the big work, the whatever, you know, the, the work on yourself. So just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Bye.